Katrina Robinson really wanted to see her boyfriend. The General Hospital recap for July 28, 2023, features Trina needing Spencer and Spencer right there to comfort her. In this episode, Jocelyn convinced Trina to go be with Spencer as Spencer and Esmond both worried about Laura. Valentine and Laura made it to a house in Chechnya looking for Nicholas but did not get far. Dante and Charlotte visited Lulu and Charlotte begged her mom to wake up. Ava was alarmed when Nanny Betty took Avery to the pool, but Sunny assured her things would be fine. Finally, Christina and Molly had a heart-to-heart. -heart. Now, let's dig a little deeper into the details. Nina, Cynthia Watros, tried to voice her concerns about Michael's, Chad Duell, attitude with Sonny, Maurice Bernard, but he hung up as soon as Ava, Mora West, walked in wondering why the new nanny was still around. Sonny assured her that things would be okay and Betty, Ella Lentini, would likely lead them to the big boss and get Ava out of her current mess. It turned out the new nanny had Avery, Ava and Grace Scarola, at the pool where the little girl was thrilled to see Jocelyn, Eden McCoy. Dex, even Hofer, was also there but just to keep an eye on Avery for Sonny. When Trina, Tabiana Ali, showed up, she was confused by the whole situation. After Jocelyn, Eden McCoy tried to explain to Betty that she was Avery's other sister, Betty and Avery left, prompting Joss to want to call Sonny. Trina advised her not to because she felt something more was going on than met the eye. The subject soon turned to Spencer, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, and Joss suggested that she text him, but she didn't feel she should because of Portia's feelings. Joss was actually sensible and told her if she needed Spencer, then go to him. She was sure Spencer wasn't texting to show respect for her family. That prompted Trina to pop in at Laura's place where Spencer was thrilled to see her. He and Esm, Avery Kristen Pohl, had been worried about Laura, Jenny Francis, so Trina was a good distraction. When she told him she missed him and they embraced, Esmond did not look happy at all. At least she left them alone to talk. When Trina said she didn't know how to help her mom, Spencer suggested she stay away from him. Trina agreed that they should at least keep their relationship Loki for the moment. Spencer promised to always be there for her if she needed him and they kissed. Meanwhile, Laura and Valentine, James Patrick Stewart, finally made it to a home in Chechnya, but the owner immediately pointed a gun at them. After they talked themselves out of that situation, the caretaker told them to stay away from the Cassadines. Laura just wanted to find her son, but soon realized this man wasn't going to help them. After the man left, Laura seemed sure he was hiding something. Scarlett Fernandez made her return as Charlotte as she and Dante, Dominic Zampragna, paid a visit to a still comatose Lulu. They caught her up on life in Port Charles as Charlotte begged her to wake up. Scarlett was clearly lonely and needed her mother, especially since she was ready to start high school. Christina, Kate Monsi, stopped by to see Molly, Brooke Ann Smith and help her out while her leg was in a cast. She even brought her one of her old stuffed animals when she was a kid. They went over their childhood and how hard they were on one another, but they seemed to be getting along better than ever now. They even discussed Christina's abuse from Kiefer and Christina, wondered if that was when her life started spinning out of control. Michael was back at work, yelling at people on the phone at Aurora, when Carly stopped by to chat about Sonny and find out if young Dex was protecting the seasoned mobster well. Carly was surprised to learn Dex found a dead body because she forgot about mafia life. She was more shocked when she learned Sonny had Dex call the cops. Carly soon left, but it didn't take long for Nina to come knocking on the door, looking to make peace for Willow's, Caitlin McMullen's sake. She point-blank asked Michael if he was open to her, having a relationship with Willow. Michael just said he will support whatever Willow wants to do. As Nina got up to leave, Christina walked in. Once alone, Christina asked her brother why he always has to be such a bastard to Nina.